Babysitter's Little Sister by Katie Farna Karen's Worst Day Chapter 1 Okay, Andrew, now hold still. Karen Brewer, what are you doing? I have been having the worst luck. Two weeks ago, I broke my wrist while roller skating. Ever since then, nothing seems to be going right. Karen, I think you should get ready for bed early. See what I mean? Yesterday, I dropped my lunch tray in front of the whole school. Everyone laughed at me. And today, I was just trying to help Andrew cut his hair. He doesn't like it long, but I still got yelled at. Andrew's my little brother. Most of the time, we live at Mommy's house with her, Seth, Rocky, and Midget. This weekend, we're staying at Daddy's house. Lots of people live there. Since I have two houses, I have lots of twos. Two pairs of shoes, two birthdays, even two stuffed cats. This week at Mommy's house, Goosey got lost for a whole two days. Mala keeps getting worse and worse. And now I can't fall asleep. Daddy, Daddy! What's wrong, Karen? Are you feeling sick? No, I can't fall asleep. I've been lying here for like hours and hours. Honey, Chrissy put you to bed 20 minutes ago. Really? It seemed like hours. Besides, I see more beat at Destiny's house. I bet she's up to something. Karen, how many times do I have to tell you? Mrs. Porter's not a witch. She's just, I know, she's an old lady who wears funny black clothes and has a broom and a black cat. Hmm. No more spying on Mrs. Porter. If you stop thinking about her, you might fall asleep faster. Okay. Even though Daddy says Mrs. Porter is not a witch, I know better. She grows magical herbs in her garden and cackles like this. Ha <laughs> ha One time I think I saw her out of a window on her broom. But I'm not sure about that. Think pleasant thoughts. And you will have pleasant dreams. Okay, Daddy. Ice cream, cartoons, pets, birthdays. What other pleasant things are there? Oh yeah, my roller skates. Soon I'll have the cast off and then I can go roller skating. Hmm, this hill is too steep. Oh, thanks for your help, Mr. Bunny. Aw, oh, Cliff, I guess I should go back. Chapter two. Karen, what happened? Is your wrist okay? How did you fall out of bed? My wrist is fine, but I didn't just fall out of bed. I fell off a cliff. I think you were just dreaming. I know. It seemed real, though. Did I wake you up? I'm sorry if I did. I was still in bed, but I was reading. Even if you had woken me up, I wouldn't have minded. Everyone has bad dreams sometimes. I guess so. I hope today is not a bad luck day. It's a gorgeous day. It may have started off badly, but I'm sure things will get much better. Boy, I hope so. Christy, can you help me get dressed? Of course. I can get dressed myself, but it is not easy with the cast. I want to wear my red shirt and my new jeans, the ones with the sequins on the sides. The ones with the sequins? I don't think I've seen those before. They're new. Mommy just bought them for me yesterday. They're in my backpack. I don't see them. What? Oh no, I must have left them at Mommy's. Well, I have an idea. Put in your pink sweater and your regular jeans and your white sneakers. Then I'll surprise you. A surprise? I love surprises. Okay. Now we'll wait right here. Good morning, Moosey. I'm back. See, we're twins. Neat. I feel really grown up being Chrissy's twin. Well, well, look at our twins. They're not really twins. Real twins are the exact same age. No way. Real twins are not at the, the same age. One has to be born first, so one is a few minutes older. Sheesh, that's not what I meant. What I meant. All right, that's enough. Christy, Karen, are you hungry? I am. I'm starving. And I know just what I want to eat. Crunchos. Too bad I just finished the box and I got the prize. You finished the box and got the prize? What was the prize? 
Stickers? Stickers? That's the best prize of all. We can share? Thanks, Andrew. Karen? Yeah? Look what I have. Oh, a new box of Cronchos. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much. Can I please look for the prize since Andrew got the other one? Well, I suppose so. Oh, goody, thank you. It's empty. Oh no, someone at the cereal company must have made a mistake. Those mean, bad, cruncho people. Hey, Karen, you can still share my prize. I'll give you half of my stickers. Okay, thank you, Andrew. It's nice that Andrew is going to share his prize with me, but I don't have a prize of my own. Chrissy and I are twins, but I don't have my new jeans. So far, today has been half bad. Chapter 3 Oh, my favorite tea show is on. Maybe watching it will cheer me up. Andrew, my show is on now. So? So I was going to watch it while I'm watching my cartoons. But I want to watch my show. And I want to watch my cartoons. You can't. I already am. No, leave it alone. I got here first. Did not. Did too. Did not. Didn't you see me sitting there? Yes, but the TV was off. So what? I was about to... Hey, 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 what's going on here? I wanted to watch my show, but Andrew turned on his cartoons. Andrew, how long is your show? An hour. Mine is only a half hour. Okay, Karen, you can watch your show. When it's over, Andrew can finish watching his show. That way, you each get one half hour of the show you like. Now, no more fighting. Wow, finally some good luck. For today only, we're airing a special report. We will turn to your regular program tomorrow. What? Oh no, my show isn't even on today. You can watch your cartoon, I guess. Thanks. You can still have half the stickers. Thanks. That's it. A pet can be a very good friend on the bad day. Oh, Shannon. Good, you're awake. Come outside and play with me. Come on, Shannon, let's play tag. Go get the stick. Shannon. Fine, I'll just go get Boo Boo. Okay, let's play. More me to destiny. <sighs> Chapter 4. Boo Boo, come down. Rabita Destiny isn't gonna hurt you. Darn old Rabita Destiny. Why does she have to be in her garden right now? Hey Boo Boo, look at what I got for you. Karen Boo, are you coming down from that tree this instant? Boo Boo! Hmm. Alrighty, but I have to stay very still and so quiet so Boo Boo feels safe and to come down. What is Marbita Destiny up to? Oh, fiddlesticks. The witch is on the loose! Mom, I'm going over to Lenny's. Okay. Lenny is my friend Hanny's brother. Maybe playing with Hanny will make my day better. I'm going with David Michael. Okay. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Why is Dave Michael being so mean? Did Marbita Destiny put a spell on him? Is Fiddlesticks a spell for meanness? Yes, I am. I want to see Hanny. I can go over there if I want. Okay, but don't go with me. David Michael. Hi. Guess what? We were just coming over to see you. You were? Good. That means you're free. Free? To go bike riding. We're riding to Harry's Brook and we're going to look for water spiders and catch frogs and crayfish. We even brought sandwiches for lunch and cookies. A real picnic. Neat. Let me ask my mom if I can go. Well, thanks a lot. What's wrong? What's wrong? You know that I can't go bike riding? That's what's wrong. I'm not allowed to ride my bike until my cast is off. And I can't go wading in brooks either. I might get the cast wet. 
It's not fair. It's just not fair. How are you? How can you be so mean, Hanny? You're a bad friend. I am not. Are so. Maybe Hanny is under the meanest spell too. Am not so. Are so too. Am not so too. Okay, I can go. Mom slices apples for the picnic. Let's go to. Let's go get our bikes. He called me a bad friend. I'm glad you can't come with us. We don't want you. Well, I wouldn't want to go on a picnic with a bad friend, so there. Why does my day keep getting worse? Is it all Morbida Destiny's fault? Or am I just having an awful rotten day? Chapter 5 What do I do now? David Michael is at his stupid picnic. Daddy took Andrew to get a haircut. Sam and Charlie at a friend's house and Elizabeth is sewing. Wait, where's Christy? Where's my twin? Christy! I'm in the kitchen. Hi, twin. Hi, what are all those brownies for? The babysitter's club. We're going to bring them to our next meeting. Christy does so much babysitting that she and her friends have a whole babysitting club. Oh. While they're cooking, what do you want to play? Can we play checkers? I'm really good at checkers. Sure, let's play upstairs. You can go first. Thanks. Now, don't let me win. I hate when big people do that. Sorry, Karen. I play my best from now on, I promise. You beat me. Well, you said not to let you win, so I didn't. But I'm a good checker player. Yes, you are. Then how come I didn't win? Do you want to play again? Maybe you'll win this time. Okay. You're not letting me win again, are you? Well, I, um... You are, you are letting me win. But you were upset that when I beat you. But I didn't want you to let me win. I wanted to win on my own. Karen, wait, I'm sorry. I needed to hug something. Now that David Michael is gone, I'll see if Shannon will play with me. Oh, maybe I should let her sleep. I'll just have to hug Moosey instead. He's n not as fun as Shannon or Boo Boo, but that's okay. Hello, Moosey. Now, you look like just like a baby. Have you ever had a bad day? A truly awful day? Probably not. A real cat might have a bad day, but not a stuffed one. You know what's happening so far, Moosey? Everything. I had a bad dream. I fell out of bed. I forgot my jeans. The Cruncho prize was missing. And my show wasn't on. And then Shannon wouldn't play with me. Boo Boo ran out of a tree. I had a fight with Hanny, and Chrissy treated me like a baby. I think you need a new outfit, Moosey. Oh, no. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Chapter 6 Karen, what's the matter? Look at Moosey, he's sick, he's falling apart. Hmm. I'm the animal doctor, Karen. Do you give me permission to operate on Moosey? I guess so. He'll have a scar, but I can fix him. Okay, Dr. Elizabeth. Let me go get my tools. It'll be okay, Moosey. I guess you've been having a bad day today, haven't you, Karen? The worst. Everybody has bad days. Do you want to know what happened to me on my worst day ever? What? You have bad days? Yes, I was about 16. Older than Christy? Yes, and on all the same day, on, I flunked a test, my gym teacher yelled at me, I burned the chicken my family was making for dinner, I cut my hand, I had a fight with one of my sisters, and I lost my favorite earrings. That is pretty bad. Do you want to try what I do when I'm having a bad day? Yes, and so does Moosey. Well, that's good, because Moosey's operation is finished. Thank you, Elizabeth. Okay, we're going to pretend the day is just beginning. You can start all over again. Lie down in bed and pretend you're sleeping. Karen, Karen, it's time to wake up. Is it morning already? Yes, time to start a brand new day. Okay, I just know today is going to be wonderful. 
Guess what? It's almost mail time. Why don't you run outside and see if Mr. Veta is coming? Okay. Mr. Veta is our mail carrier. He's very nice and always hands me the mail for the house. Every day, Mr. Veta tells me about the dogs he sees in the mail route. And I like Mr. Venta almost as much as I like Mr. Tasty, the ice cream man. No mail truck yet. Maybe Hanny and Linny and David Michael will be home soon. I shouldn't have yelled at Hanny. I want to apologize to her. Then maybe we can play together. Still no one. There's the mail truck. I've never seen this person before. Where's Mr. Veta? Oh, hello. Is this your house? Yes. Great. Here's your mail. I've been looking forward to talking to Mr. Venta. Thanks. I could feel my bad luck coming back again. It's a new day. It's a new day. Oh, there's a package. I hope it's for me. I'll be surprised once I look through the mail. Daddy, Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Daddy, Charlie, Elizabeth, a magazine. It's almost out of package. I really hope it's for me. A change of luck would be really nice. Chapter 7 Hello, we're home. We're in the kitchen. Hi there, Andrew. Your new haircut is very handsome. New haircut? <laughs> I think he looks kind of silly. But I don't want to hurt his feelings, even if he did get a package and I didn't. Hey, guess what? What? You got a present from Uncle Lou and Aunt Anne. They're Andrew's godparents. They like to send him lots of presents. Even for no reason at all. I did? Oh boy! I hope his present is boring. Cameron, look! New movies! Wow! I can't believe it. That's not a boring present at all. It's just not fair. No one good thing has happened to me today. Let's go watch them right now. No way. Why not? Because I don't want to watch movies with an egghead. Look an egghead, Andrew. I think I'll call you Mr. Baldy from now on. Karen, apologize right now. No. Mr. Baldy, you are spoiled, and you won't even like those movies. They're dumb and stupid and boring and bad. That's the real reason I don't want to watch them. They are not. Are too. You're going to hate them. You're going to hate all the characters and the stories and the songs. I will not. Will too. Karen, go to your room right now. I know you're having a bad day, but you will not take it out on Andrew. Okay. No fair, no fair, no fair. It's not fair that I got sent to my room for having a bad day. I've done everything I can think of to make my day better. Elizabeth even helped me try to start the day over again. It's not my fault I'm having a bad day. I didn't mean for any of those things to go wrong. And now I'm being punished. How are you feeling, Moosey? I guess you're feeling okay again, aren't you? Moosey, I think everyone hates me. Chrissy hates me because I acted like a baby. Daddy and Elizabeth and Andrew hate me because I was mean to Andrew. Hanny hates me because I yelled at her. Maybe even Mr. Venta hates me. That's why he wasn't driving his truck. I'm like that worm song. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. I guess I'll go eat some worms. That song is kinda gross. Karen, look at the new movies I got. You are so spoiled. Am not. R2. Am not. R2. Okay, I am spoiled, you're right. Let me have your movies. No. Yes. Alright, here they are. They're yours. Thanks, Mr. Baldy. That's where I thought I should have gone. Totally empty. Nobody likes me. Everybody hates me. Guess I'll go eat some worms. Karen, I know it's only been 15 minutes, but your punishment is now over. Daddy probably just wanted me to stop singing, but that's okay. Wait, I think I hear something. I know that sound. Chapter 8 Mr. Tasty is coming. Good luck at last. Here comes Mr. Tasty. Goody. I guess our picnic is over. Is Hanny still mad at me? Maybe 
things will be okay. At least we're smiling. Hello, everyone. Okay, okay, why don't you form a line? This will be much easier. Hmm, what kind of ice cream do I want to have today? Let's see, chocolate popsicle, rocky pops, nutty cones, otter pops, Italian ice. This is exactly what I want, a cherry Italian ice. My turn is next. When, what can I get for you, Karen? I'll have a cherry Italian ice, please. Righto. I'm sorry, Karen, it looks like we're out of cherry right now. No cherry? No, but there's lemon and grape. I really want cherry. I'm sorry, Karen. Karen, dinner time. I'm not hungry. Karen would like you to come to dinner, please. But I'm not hungry. Please come anyway. Well, I guess you had a bad, bad day today, Karen, didn't you? No cruncher prize and no cherry Italian ice cream. No present and no TV show, and I fell out of bed and Lucy got ripped. Last week I had a bad day. I lost my homework and I stepped on Booba's tail. I felt awful. That's just two bad things, though. Once my chair tipped over in English class and I forgot my lunch money and my locker got stuck, so I missed the bus home. One time I threw up during a school assembly. I think I had the worst day of all. More bad things happened to me than anyone else. I think you're right. On my bad day, four things happened. Seven bad things happened on my worst day. Six bad things happened on the day I told you about while I was fixing up Moosey. Okay, now let me count all of my bad things. Gosh, if there were a prize for bad days, you would win it, Karen. I think this is the first good thing that's happened for me today. I set a bad day record. Chapter 9 you know what would taste good right now? What? Ice cream? I don't think we have any. I know, that's why Sam and I were wondering if you wanted to come to Severiania's Suites with us. You want to go to the ice cream parlor? Just the three of us? Yup. You and Sam and I didn't get any ice cream from Mr. Tasty today, so we should take care of that. Will you come with us? Sure, if it's okay with Daddy and Elizabeth. It's okay. Then let's go. Wow, I feel so grown up. We get to go to Sylvania's Suites all by ourselves. I hope someone sees me. It's not every day I get to ride in a car with my big brothers. So far, so good. Nothing bad has happened. Keep it up, kid. What can I get for you three? Well, Karen, have you made up your mind? I bet you don't have any root beer floats left, do you? Of course we do. We can make anything. One rubber flow coming right up. Oh, goody. This is the best rubber flow I've ever had. Hey, hi everyone. These are my friends from school. And who's this, Charlie? Is this your big sister? No, my name is Karen. I'm six. You're only six? I thought you were 26. Wow, Karen, did you get your hair yourself? It looks beautiful. Well, I think it's time for us to head home. It was nice seeing you. Goodbye. Bye. Boy, thanks, Charlie. Thanks, Sam. Not a single thing went wrong at the ice cream parlor. Including my new record. This is the second good thing that's happened today. Daddy, Elizabeth, Christy, guess what? What is it, sweetie? Everything went great. We parked right in front of Sylvania's, and they had root beer floats. I wanted a root beer float more than anything, even more than a cherry Italian ice cream. And then Charlie's friends came in, and one of them asked if I was Charlie's older sister. They thought I was 26. That's wonderful, honey. And now guess what time it is? Time to get ready for bed? Exactly. Time for Andrew and David and Michael, too. Let's go. Whoa, I've never seen so much toothpaste foam before. We set a new foam record. I'll say, this is the third good thing that happened today. I guess my bad day is over. Elizabeth, before I go to bed, may I do three things? They're really important. And they won't take a long time. All right.
Chapter 10. My three important things are apologies. Andrew? Yeah? Can I come in? Yeah. I'm really, really sorry that I called you a nighthead and Mr. Baldy. That was not nice at all. I was sad I didn't get a gift and I yelled at you. But it's not your fault that I had a bad day. Yelling at you made me feel even worse. I see. Karen? Yeah? You can still have half my stickers, and you can watch the new movies whenever you want. Thanks, Andrew. Hi, honey. It's me, Karen. I know you're mad. I'm sorry that I called you a bad friend. It's not true. You're my best friend. I was being really mean today. Do you know why? Today was my worst day ever. It was so bad, I set a bad day record. Fourteen bad things happened. Fourteen? Yeah, but it ended with some good things. I went to the ice cream parlor with my big brothers, and one of Charlie's friends thought I was their older sister. Whoa, that is so, so cool. I know, and then I, they thought I was 26. You must have felt really grown up. Yeah, I... Karen, time for bed. I have to go, honey, but I'll see you tomorrow, okay? We can play whenever you want. Deal. Do you want Chrissy to put you to bed tonight? Yes, please. I'll say goodnight to you and Elizabeth now. Elizabeth, can I tell you something? Thank you. For what? For fixing Lucy and telling me about your bad day. You're welcome. Good night, Karen. Good night, Elizabeth. What story shall we read tonight, The Witch Next Door? Before we read a book, I have something to say to you. You do? I'm sorry about how I acted during the checkers game. I wasn't being very nice to you. I was letting you win, though, and that wasn't very nice of me either. But you were trying to be nice, and I was feeling too awful to notice. In that case, I accept your apology. And I promise I will never let you win again. Next time you win, it'll be because you played a good game. Maybe the next time I will win, will be on a good day. If today's my worst day, then sometime I'll have the best day. That will probably be the checkers winning game. I hope so. Now, how about a story? Okay, I know you, you get tired of reading The Witch Next Door, so this time you choose any book you want. Really? How about we begin a chapter book? I could start reading Charlotte's Web too. I think you'll really like it. Okay, but I don't have that. I do. I'll be right back. You're going to hear a news story. Try to listen quietly. No interrupting. Did anything bad happen while I was gone? Oh, Christy. Christy's right. I really do like this book. That's it for chapter one. I'll read chapter two tomorrow night. Do you think pigs ever have bad days? I think everybody does. What about witches? Do you think they ever have bad days? Oh, sure. They mix up their potions wrong and their spells go kerflooey and their broomsticks won't fly. I'm sure tomorrow, tomorrow will be a good day. If that's true, then that is the fourth good thing about my bad day. Good night, Karen. Good night, Christy.